हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज पार्ट सेवन ऑफ आप इन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो व्हाट आर यू गाइस अप टू वही सेम ओल्ड पोइंग स्टफ है ना ऑल राइट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर बीइंग आस्ड इन इंटरव्यू एंड दीज क्वेश्चंस आर रिलेटेड टू प्रोसेस मॉडल्स ओके एंड ऑल्सो आई विल प्रोवाइड सम यूजफुल टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स to crack the interview throughout the video so if you are watching this video please don't skip any part of it don't skip any single part of it cool and one more thing i want you guys to not miss on anything that is important okay so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so here comes our first question Boom! What is the difference between escalation and exception? Believe me, guys, this is the most, most, and the most asked question in interviews. Okay, so you can say it's a killer question. If you are going to appear for an interview, please, please, please be prepared for it. Okay. Next, let's see what we have on a plate. what are the different levels of security in a process model okay so in order to know the answer you can just go through the documentation so there is a chart given over there which shows the level the different levels of security okay next comes what are hidden variables you must be knowing about process variables right and sometimes you mark a process variable has a hidden variable why do we do that all right and one more thing guys i will be uploading uh, some videos uh, soon on my channel covering the answers of these interview questions so please 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 subscribe to my channel next is what are process variables and node inputs you can say this is the most asked this is one of the most asked interview questions and this is a basic question process variables and node inputs okay this is one of the killer questions what are process variables and node inputs next is what is the limitation of activity chaining and why do we use it this is the basic question and if you are an appian practitioner you must know it even if you do not know the answer that's all right that's cool that's how we learn right after all what am i here for okay let's see what we have next what are the best practices of a process model so i will uh, make a separate video on this question covering all the best practices of a process model which we have to keep in our mind while creating a process model while working on a process model okay this is the basic question and you must know it next is okay now it's time for some tips and tricks so the tip no you can say trick yeah it's a trick so in any interview okay start by giving the shortest explanation of what the project is all about the current project you are working on okay what the project is all about and the kind of team involved in creating it all right then move on to which technology you use to develop it okay and finally find something you liked about the project so you have to draw the interviewer's attention to something you are confident about to something you have knowledge about okay so that he ask most of the questions related to it and you would be good to answer them all right so this is the trick this is one of the tricks so stay tuned for more such tricks cool uh, let's move on to next question what is the limitation of using nodes in a process model limitation of using nodes in a process model uh you must be knowing it if not please watch my video 
if you want all these interview questions in one place do drop your queries questions below in the comment section and i will share this ppt with you guys cool after all what am i here for okay why do we use swim lanes hmm why do we use it most of the people don't prefer using swim lanes but we should use it it i can tell you it comes under best practices okay next uh, what is the minimum level of permission needed to trigger a process model i would not say that this is the most important or most asked question in interviews but this is something you should know if you are an app in practitioner let me tell you one more thing most of the people fail to answer this question let's move on to next question what is the difference between start process smart service and sub process i will make a separate video covering this question okay so stay tuned what is the difference between start form and user input task what is the difference can you tell me the difference if you know the difference please drop your comment below in the comment section cool now it's time for some tip uh the tip is mm, 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 let me think of one mm. yes the tip is whenever you are explaining something to an interviewer okay let's say uh, uh i am uh, you know telling the difference between start form and user input task user input task i'll take an example and i will try to convey my answer through this example so always take an instance and try to explain things using that instance okay so that interviewer would know that you have knowledge on this particular topic if you try to explain it theoretically you, interviewer might think that you just have theoretical knowledge on that you don't have practical knowledge on this particular topic and you have to speak confidently even if you don't have knowledge on a particular topic you have to speak confidently so this will add more value to your answer cool that's the tip of the day thank me later moving on to a moving on to a next question what is the difference between synchronous sub process and asynchronous sub process this is one of the killer questions okay so i will cover this question in a separate video So in order to know the difference please subscribe to my channel next comes by how many ways we can start a process model can any one of you tell me by how many ways we can start a process model okay let me give you a hint mm, by six there are six to seven ways by which we can start a process model Let's see what we have next on our plate. What is the difference between right to data store entity and right to multiple data store entity? I know right to multiple data uh, data store entity does not come uh, in use uh, that often, but yeah, you should know the difference. Okay, so I think I will cover this question as well in a separate video. Yeah so before moving on to the next question i would like to uh tell you guys that uh this video is covering the questions related to process model so i will make another video uh covering the questions related to interfaces expression rules cdts uh and other api and uh, objects okay 
all right so i will come up with part two of appian interview question related to a uh, process model because i didn't want to you know put all these questions in just one video since yeah. it was making the video a bit lengthy so yeah that's the reason moving on to our next question hmm i think that's all uh, for today if you want more such videos Please like my video, share it as much as you can and yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and for more such tips and tricks. Cool? Until then, chi. Oops, I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, cheers. Bye-bye.